Well, my name is Aduba and I'm a PhD student at Charles Sturt University. Today I'm going, uh, I'm going to take a vial of uh, normal colon cells called CCD841 and we defrost this rapidly at 37 degrees and then we add it to media and we grow it in a small flask so that we can use it for experiments. So my cells are in duo five, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get one, passage one of normal colon cells. Right at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. So we have to defrost it rapidly so we don't lose cell viability. So I'm just going to put it back straight to 37 degrees, water bath. This is a clean room lab coat. So whatever was in the liquid nitrogen, whatever, we just reduce the likelihood of contamination. Yeah. And I changed my gloves. So now after putting on the clean room gown and new gloves and ethanol all over my gloves. We get the vial and this much goes in the water bath and we rapidly defrost, okay? It's about 60 seconds and then we check. Yeah, so it's, you can see it's already defrosting. Mm -hmm. Temperature of the water bath is 37 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna defrost it rapidly for about 60 seconds. And then we check by inverting it to see if it's defrosted, not yet. Once we see some liquid defrosting, we wanna defrost it about 80% with a little bit of ice left. And then we prepare the rest of it in the fume cupboard. And the rest of the ice should melt there at room temperature. Yeah, as you can see, it's defrosting there. A little bit of ice there left. Yeah, so we leave that little bit of ice there. Then we put into the fume cupboard. We don't touch anything, including the chair. Put it on there. We spray it all over with ethanol. up a bit. It's broken at the bottom. Oh, Throw that out. Now again. So we're going to transfer that. So we've prepared a vial with the normal cells labeled and it's in a media called EMEM. There's nine mil in here. There's one mil in there. So we put the one and then we centrifuge it. So now I'm using the pipette gun. This is very important, you pipette all of the contents out. 
aseptically. As you can see, now the vial is empty. Throw it out. Again, straight into warm media. That's it. We invert it. And now we centrifuge it. Okay. So now we centrifuge 10 ml of the cells in warm EMEM media for seven minutes at 125 times G at room temperature. Okay. We'll have to balance it with another tube of 10 ml. There's already one here with about 10 ml in there. Balance them together. Close that. Then we just press start and we wait until the centrifuge is done. So the centrifuge is about to beep and let us know that the seven minutes is over. Then we're gonna take our uh, centrifuge tube out. Yep. It will, un it will unlock. There we go. I thought it was automatic. <laughs> so that's our vial there. Our cells are at the bottom. It's, a, it's only a passage one, so there's very little cells, so we're gonna grow them. Okay. So now we're gonna discard the supernatant or the media, and we're gonna put fresh media in there. Take like 95% of the media out. So the cells are at the bottom there, the pellets. There we go. Okay. Fresh media. So we're gonna put the cells in this T75 flask. We're gonna put five mil of fresh media, warm, and then five mil in there, and then uh, two mil in here, sorry, and two mil in there and combine them together and the cells are gonna grow in here. So we'll start with the flask. Okay, and then The cells, two mil as well. Just so there's a total of about four mils in the flask. Okay, we're gonna gently mix the cells to get them off the bottom there. Trying to avoid bubbles. It's good. Take the full contents of the flask of the centrifuge tube. We can discard this tube. All the cells are in here. Into the flask, and that's it. So um, our cells like to grow clumped up together. So we give them a small um, uh, area or surface area to grow in because they like to grow together. When the flask um, is completely filled, then we put trips in and we lift the cells. And we do the same procedure where we centrifuge the cells and then we expand them and we put them in a much larger flask and we continue. So now I'm gonna have a look under the microscope at the cells, okay? So this is a Nikon Eclipse TI microscope. You can also take um, photos with the microscope using um, the intensity uh, shutter. So we can actually take photos, but now I'm just gonna have a look at different magnifications to see if there's any cells in the media. So we switch it on there, the power, and then we turn on the light. And yes, I can see the cells. They're nice and round. Yeah, so there's a handle here, so we can move this. This is the stage, so the stage can move back and forth, left and right. And we can also move the stage, um, we can move the lens up and down as well. And we can change the focus so that we can see the cells. Yeah. 
good many cells in there, which is great. So now we're going to put our T75 or T25 flask in our Panasonic incubator. It's at 37 degrees with 5% carbon dioxide. This simulates the conditions in the human body. So that's why we put ourselves in there. And that's it. We'll come back and check it tomorrow and then we'll change the media. The media does change color from a pink to an orange to a yellow. As it changes color, that's when we know that the pH is changing. We need to add fresh media. That's it.